I would like to discuss this problem. A piece of broken plate was dug up in an archaeological site. It was put on top of a grid and as shown in the figure given to you later on. With the arc of the plate passing to the points negative 7, 0, 1, 4, and 7, 2. We are given three points. Find its center and the standard equation of the circle describing the boundary of the plate. So this is a circle. Then, kasi plato siya na putol-putol. So it means may mga pieces lang na nakuha. And this one, this, so this is the points negative 7, 0. We have 1, 4, and we have 7, 2 are the points A, B, and C. Paano natin makuha ang center? Based on the perpendicular bisector theorem of a circle, note that in a circle, there exists a perpendicular bisector of any chord that always pass through the center. Sure talaga na sa bawat perpendicular bisector dito, when you say perpendicular bisector, it means uh, nahati siya at the same time perpendicular always talaga daw siya dumaan center. If this is the center, there is a chord here or there is a line that always divides this two, this chord AB into two equal parts and then it is a right angle here. So that is the, in any chord. So that means hindi lang yung chord AB, it could be chord BC also. And then, since ito ay nahahati sa dalawa, that means uh, this point is the midpoint. Ito, at saka ito is the midpoint also. So, that means kailangan natin makuha ang midpoint. The second one property is, we know that this is a line and this is a line. Aside from, it is perpendicular by sector. From the word perpendicular, it, and if they are perpendicular, the product of the slopes of two perpendicular lines is negative 1. So, that means if the slope of this is negative 2, the slope of this is, must say x, such that the product is negative 1. So, if the slope of the first or this line AB is negative 2, then there must be a slope of this uh, perpendicular line that the product is negative 1. Of course, to find that one, we have 1 half. How to do that one? Of course, we have negative 2 times x is equals to negative 1, then x is equals to 1 half. We solve for x. So, if the slope of this is, for example, is negative one-third, it means the slope of this is something, negative one-third, that the product is negative one. So, makita natin yung uh, slope ng isa. And that's why you have the slope of three. So, ito ang slope ng isang line, AB. So, the slope of the perpendicular to that AB is the negative inverse. So, for example, negative two, the inverse of negative two is a negative one half and the negative of that is equal to one half and then if the slope of this is negative one third so the inverse of that is three over one and the negative uh, one is here and the negative so this one makikita natin if we have the negative of the inverse so the inverse of negative two is one half and the negative of that negative two so negative two of negative one half is positive one half or say the product of these two is negative one. That's the concept. Uh, access, and we have here the negative seven zero. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is the first point. And the second point, we have one, four. We have one, one, two, three, and four. This is one, four. This is point A. This is point B. And we have point C, 7, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2. So this, is, this point is point C. So these are the boundary of, um, we call this one, the plate. And to do that one, para natin makuha yung kanyang midpoint, kasi una natin kukunin ang isang midpoint, kukunin natin ang average. So this one is negative 7, 0. This one is 1, 4. So, kukunin natin ang average to get the midpoint. So, uh, negative 7 plus 1, of course, negative 6 divide 2, that is negative 3. And 0 plus 4 divide 2, that is 2. So, this point, the midpoint is negative 3, 2. So, it means this point ay madadaanan talaga. And the other one is to have this point 7, 2. Okay. So, 7, 2, we add 1 plus 7, that is 8, divide 2, that is 4. So, this point is 4. And 4 plus 2, 6, divided by 2, that is 3. So, the point is 4, 3. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So, this is the midpoint. 
And there is a line here that always passes through the center. Ano kaya ang center natin? So, to do that one, una nating titingnan is, ano kaya ang slope dito? So, ang slope nito ay makukuha natin in y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Say, for example, ito ang point natin, una, negative 7, 0. So, ang ating x sub 2 ay negative 3, ang y sub 2 ay 2. So, we have 2 minus 0, that is our y sub 2 minus y sub 1, over negative 3 minus negative 7, that is our x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And we have 2 over negative 3 plus 7, that is positive 4. So, therefore, we have 1 half. Okay. So, the slope of this is 1 half. Therefore, the slope of this uh, perpendicular by sector is negative 2. Na? Because the product is negative 1. Similarly, on the other length or the other segment, 1, 4, and 7, 2, pwede din natin we have 2 minus 4 over 7 minus 1. Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. And that is negative 2 over 6. And that is negative 1 third. So it means if the slope of this is negative one third, therefore the slope of this is positive three. So that the product is equal to one. So ang question ngayon is paano natin makuha ang center? So to do that one, we know that this is an intersection of the two perpendicular lines. Alam natin to find the intersection is to equate or to eliminate or to find the <coughs> systems of linear equations. So, kailangan natin ng y equals mx plus b para makuha natin ang kanyang equation. So, to do that one, uh, kailangan natin ng m. So, ang slope nito ay negative 2. So, we will use negative 2. Ano ang x natin gagamitin? So, since this is negative 3 and 2, that means our x is negative 3. That is negative 3. And our y is 2. Therefore, makukuha natin ang b. And therefore, we have 2 minus 6 is equal to b. And therefore, b is equal to negative 4. So, meron tayong equation na y is equals to ang m, which is negative 2, because negative 2 ang ating slope. And ang ating x ay x pa rin. Ang b natin ay negative 4. So, therefore, the equation of this is y equals negative 2x minus 4. Sa kabila naman, since ang ating point ay 4, 3, meron tayong 4, 3 na point as the midpoint, and then ang slope natin ay 3, then we have y is equals to 3. Of course, gamitin natin y equals mx plus b, which is equals to m, which is 3, times x, which is 4, given this point, kasi ito ang y, ito ang x, plus b. So, makuha natin ang b, that is 3 minus 12 is equals to b, and therefore, negative 9 is equals to b. So, it means ang ating equation ay y is equals to mx. Ang m natin ay 3. 3x minus b or plus negative 9. So, this is also the equation of this line. Okay? Since puro sila y, therefore we can equate. And from that, you have y is equals to y. And therefore, you have negative 2x minus 4 is equals to neg uh, 3x minus 9. Okay? So, therefore, we have um, negative 5x is equal to positive or negative 5. So, therefore, x is equal to positive 1. So, when x equals positive 1, and we know that y is equal to 3x minus 9. So, y is equal to 3 times 1 plus or say minus 9, and that is equal to negative 6. So, therefore, ang ating point of intersection I. 1 ang x, ang negative, ang y natin ay negative 6. So, this is our center of our um, circle. So, ang ating center ay um, 1, negative 6, and then ang radius ang kulang. Pero titingnan natin na ang ating uh, circle ay dumaan siya sa point na 7, 2. So, pwede natin gagamitin yon yung 7, 2, because this is uh, the circle, this is in the boundary of the circle, of course, one of the points. So, we know that the equation is x minus h, ang h natin ay 1 squared, plus y minus k, ang k natin ay negative 6 squared equals r squared. So, meron tayong x, meron tayong y, yun ang doon sa circle. So, that means ang x natin ay 7, 7 minus 1 squared, and then plus y natin ay 2 
plus 6 because negative of negative 6 is uh, plus 6, then we have y r squared. So this is 6 squared plus 8 squared, and that is equal to r squared. Solving for r, you have 36 plus 64, which is equals to 100, and therefore r is equals to square root of 100, and 10 is equal to r. So therefore, ang ating circle or ating plate ay ang kanyang radius ay 10. So it means ang ating equation in standard form ay x minus 1 squared plus y plus 6 squared is equals to 10 squared. Or we have x minus 1 squared plus y plus 6 squared is equals to 100. Now, babalikan natin kung ano ang ginawa natin. Una, kinuha natin or alam natin that um, meron siyang perpendicular bisector. So, it means kukunin natin yung midpoint because of the word bisector. And then, pagkuha natin ng kanyang midpoint, kukunin natin ang slope kasi ang product ng slope of two perpendicular lines is negative 1. So, kung meron na tayong slope na 1 half, automatic ang slope nito ay negative 2 to have a product of negative 1, uh, knowing that they are perpendicular. And to get the, uh, ano, of this one, the slope of this, we know that the slope of this is negative 1 third, therefore the slope of this is 3. And since um, we have a point slope, so that means we have a point of negative 3, 2, which is intersected by this line, and the slope of this is negative 2. Therefore, we can use the formula y equals mx plus b to find the y-intercept, and the y-intercept is negative 4. And we know that uh, para makuha natin yung equation, uh, still babalik tayo sa y equals mx plus b, at alam natin na ang y ay constant na natin, at saka ang x, ang ating uh, papalitan ay m at saka b na lang, to get the equation. And m equals negative 2, and b is equals to negative 4, but from our solution, then we have y equals negative 2x. Pag nakuha na natin ang mga equations ng lines na ito, then kukunin natin ang intersection. So there are many ways how to find the intersection. The first way is by elimination. The second way is by comparison. So this way is a comparison in which you are going to set y equals y because uh, we are going to find the value of x and that therefore we have negative 2x minus 4 equals 3x minus 9 and so for x, you get x equals 1. Then kung may x na tayo, therefore we can find the value of y and we know that y is either negative 2x minus 4 or 3x minus 9 but we choose y equals 3x minus 9 to get y equals negative 6. Therefore, the center equals 1 and negative 6. And to have the, the um, equation of the circle in standard form, we have x minus 1 squared, which is h yung x natin, and y minus k, that is negative 6 equals r squared. And solving for r, bakit 7, 2 ang ginamit natin? It's because 7, 2 is a point in the curve of the circle. Uh, kung hindi 7, 2, pwede ring negative 7, 0 pwede ring 1, 4. You will arrive with the same answer that r is equals to 10. And therefore, you have this standard equation of the circle. Thank you.